Hey everyone, today I have an unboxing from thecubicle.us. In here should be a few puzzles and a few other things I ordered, so let's get into it. So the first thing I ordered are some black caps for my Sculpted Galaxy. I did this because right now my last layer color is this light gray color and it's surrounded by other light colors so sometimes I have trouble recognizing so I'm hoping that using black on top should improve my recognition so I'm going to try putting them on right now. So that actually turned out pretty well and I don't think I'm gonna have any more recognition problems. It might take a while for me to get used to the black instead of the gray, but that contrasts really well with all of these colors. Okay, so the next thing I ordered was some of the Cubicle Labs DNM37. So I will be trying this out on some of my bigger cubes to speed them up. Okay, so the next thing I ordered is the Chi Yi Wu Shuang. I'm going to get into this later. I'm first going to get everything out of the package. I also ordered a Guoguan 2x2, and this actually has the Cubicle Pro Shop lube service done to it. So I'm not sure what the difference is between this and the premium Guoguan, but we'll see. And lastly, I have the Yushin Red 6x6 with Yushin 5x5 strings. So I plan to do the spring swap and see how that goes. Okay, so first I'm going to go into the Guoguan 2x2. So right now I'm using the Weipo. And one thing that's kind of annoying about it is that this corner is slightly twisted. And that affects corner cutting on the, those layers. So corner cutting on these layers are fine, but on every layer that has this, it just doesn't corner cut. Okay. Okay, so the shades look pretty similar to the Weipo. And let's try first turns. Okay, so it is definitely pretty gummy. It feels really nice though, like soft kind of. It does feel a bit slow for now, but I'm sure that will get better after breaking in. and a bit unstable, so I might tighten this actually, it's pretty loose. But this is probably made out of the box. I'll have to do some solves to make sure, but this feels pretty good. Okay, the next cube I have is the Chi Yi Wu Shuang. So right now I'm using the Bo Chuang, and it is a bit slow now. So I'm probably gonna add some DNM37 into this and see how that goes but I'm pretty sure the Wu Shuang will replace it anyway. Okay, it does feel a bit smaller. Yeah. It is slightly smaller than the Bo Chuang. Okay, so let's do some first turns. So it's very fast, a bit uncontrollable for me because I'm used to the Bo Chuang, and a bit locky. And the inner layers are really sandy. So it is definitely a bit locky, but yeah, it is a bit tight. So maybe I'll loosen that and hopefully the locking will go away. I've also heard that locking will just go away with breaking in. So we'll see about that. This is definitely made out of the box. And 
the last puzzle I have is the Yushin Red 6x6. I'm currently using the Aoshi and it's really like wobbly. So I'm definitely expecting the Yushin to be made out of the box, but I will be like careful during first turns because I've heard that it can pop easily unless you tighten it. Okay, I don't care about that. feel like it's gonna, the inner layers are gonna pop. Yeah, it feels like it's going to pop, so I'm not gonna turn it too much. It definitely feels a lot smaller than the Yashi. And it's definitely more stable and smoother. locky right now. I'm definitely going to um, put some DNM37 in it and tighten it and spring swap it. And then I will probably make a first impressions or review about this after I do that. I will definitely be practicing a lot with it. But it is getting a bit faster and smoother as I turn it. So we'll see. So that's it for my unboxing and very first impressions of these cubes. I will probably make more detailed first impressions and reviews on at least some of these. Definitely the Yushin Red and maybe on some DNM37. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe so you can be notified when I release new content.